Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2025 Subaru Forester. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. As always, there's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. For nearly 30 years, with more than 2.6 million vehicles sold in the US alone, the Forester has been one of Subaru's best-selling vehicles. The all-new 6th generation Forester offers the most advanced features, modern design, and improved ride comfort in its history. Designed to combine the capability and versatility of a large SUV with the comfort and efficiency of a car. The 8.7-inch ground clearance for all Forester models is taller than many SUVs, yet it maintains a comfortably low step-in height for both front and rear passenger entry. The all-new, sleek, contemporary design aesthetic retains the trademark looks of its classic, rugged predecessors. The front of the vehicle features a bold grille that merges the compact LED headlights and creates an integrated shield effect. The all-new fascia also debuts an updated Subaru Star Cluster emblem. The SUV's bold shoulder lines emphasize height and strength, while its prominent wheel arches highlight its off-road capability. Front, side, and rear underguards are standard with color finish according to the trim level. The steep rear glass offers increased cargo capacity. Several functional aerodynamic improvements enhance the SUV's performance and stability. An air outlet at the trailing edge of the front wheel openings allow air to exit from the front wheel wells more freely, contributing to reduced lift on the front tires and improved driving stability. The Subaru Global Platform for the 2025 Forester has been enhanced with 10% stiffer torsional rigidity. A full inner frame construction with stronger welding techniques and additional structural adhesive contribute to better body rigidity and lighter weight. These updates deliver improved dynamic performance, a smoother ride, and a quieter cabin. For 2025, the Forester is offered with five models to choose from. Base pricing ranges between $29,695 and $39,995. The models include the Base, Premium, Sport, Limited, and Touring. This example is a Limited and starts at $35,995. There are nine colors to choose from. Shown here is Brilliant Bronze Metallic, which is a no-cost option. Additional options fitted to this example include Subaru Starlink 11.6-inch Multimedia Navigation, a Harman Kardon Premium Audio System and Reverse Automatic Braking. Additional options are offered including a plethora of protection items for the interior and exterior, comfort and convenience amenities, and functional options to suit active lifestyles such as a rooftop tent, a roof-mounted awning, bike racks, crossbars, and more. The total MSRP for what you see here including destination is $39,015. The Forester Base and Premium comes standard with 17-inch alloy wheels. The Limited is equipped with 18-inch alloy wheels and the Sport and Touring upgrade to 19-inch alloy wheels. These 18-inch wheels are 7 inches wide and feature a dark metallic finish with machined accents. They're wrapped in 225-55 all-season Falcon tires. All Foresters use the same braking setup. It's an electronically controlled, power-assisted, dual-diagonal wheel disc brake system with electronic brake force distribution and four-channel, four-sensor ABS with brake assist and brake override safety systems. 
Additional safety features integrated within the braking system include active torque vectoring, auto vehicle hold, incline start assist, and an electronic parking brake. The latter can be manually toggled by a switch mounted on the center console. The front discs are internally ventilated and span 12.4 inches. The rear discs are solid and span 11.8 inches. They're clamped down by twin piston and single piston calipers respectively. This setup stops well with good feel, excellent stability, and strong bite. Stopping from 60 miles an hour takes about 115 feet. Standard across the model line is a revised Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system with a faster response time, more agile handling, and better control both on and off-road. The active torque split design of the all-wheel drive system's electronically managed continuously variable hydraulic transfer clutch actively manages the torque split based on acceleration, deceleration, and available traction. The system continuously powers all four wheels and will transfer torque to the wheels with the best grip. Standard on Forester Premium is driver selectable X mode with hill descent control which maximizes wheel control on slippery surfaces and steep inclines. It also optimizes engine output, the transmission ratio's position, and increases all-wheel drive engagement using enhanced control logic for the vehicle dynamic control stability system. Forrester Sport and higher trim levels upgrade the Dual Function X mode for increased capability in a wider range of adverse conditions. The dual function includes a snow dirt mode that allows the driver to manually deactivate vehicle dynamic control and traction control, as well as a deep snow mud mode that automatically disengages vehicle dynamic control and traction control. As I mentioned, all models feature incline start assist, which briefly holds the vehicle while the driver pulls away from a stop on a hill. Underpinning the Forester is a raised four-wheel independent suspension that features McPherson-type struts in front with lower L-arms and double wishbones in the rear with coil springs. Front and rear stabilizer bars are also included. The Forester drives really nice. The suspension soaks up bumps nicely, but it's also taut enough to deliver sporty characteristics. With 8.7 inches of ground clearance, it's also well suited for light off-roading. Approach, breakover, and departure angles come in at 19, 19.5, and 24.6 degrees, respectively. The curb weight for the limited trim is 3,613 pounds. The Forester's steering is enhanced for 2025, with a version of the WRX's dual pinion electronic power steering rack, providing a more direct and natural steering feel and greater responsiveness. It delivers a 13 to 1 ratio and takes 2.6 turns to go from lock to lock. The turning circle measures 35.4 feet. A leather wrapped steering wheel with accent stitching is standard on most models. It feels nice in your hands and has prominent grip bolsters at 10 and 2. There's a plethora of controls on the upper spokes that are straightforward and put most features within easy reach, things like audio, telephone, cruise control, driver assistance features, and more. There's also a standard driver's information system in the middle of the instrument cluster that gives you a glance at trip and fuel info, date and time, navigation, auto stop fuel savings, audio data, outside temperature, and instantaneous miles per gallon. A heated steering wheel is standard on the Limited and Touring. All 2025 Forester trim levels come standard with a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine that develops 180 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 178 pound feet of torque at 3,700 RPM. This is honestly the biggest drawback as performance is not the Forester strong suit accelerating to 60 miles an hour in about 8.6 seconds. That's leisurely at best. Around town, it didn't feel as slow. You notice it more under heavy throttle input and spirited driving. Despite the lack of power, I still really like the engine for its smoothness, fuel economy, and unique sound compared to a traditional four-cylinder. 
Subaru offers a significantly more powerful, turbocharged 2.4 liter boxer engine than some of their other vehicles. It would make a really nice option for the Forester as well. Apparently, a Forester hybrid is also on the horizon, so that should be interesting to compare to at some point. This engine features an aluminum block and head, double overhead camshafts with four valves per cylinder, and a dual active valve control system that controls valve timing on the intake and exhaust camshafts. Fuel is delivered via direct injection, and the compression ratio is 12 to 1. Also standard on all Forester models is a linear Tronic CVT or continuously variable transmission that's said to offer smoother and quieter performance compared to its predecessor. Personally, I've never been a big fan of CVTs, but Subaru has seemed to play into the CVT's strong suits and work around some of the traditional CVT annoyances that make it a surprisingly well-rounded and adaptive transmission that automatically adjusts its ratios for fuel economy or performance on demand. In normal, smooth acceleration, revs are kept constant for the most part to keep the engine within its sweet spot for the level of acceleration you're calling for. Press it harder and it'll behave as if it's shifting like a conventional automatic. In other words, it doesn't hold on to high revs like some CVTs out there. A leather wrapped shift knob is added on the Touring. Sport, Limited, and Touring trims feature a manual mode with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters so the driver can control the transmission via 8 preset ratios. Base and Premium models have a low shift mode, which, in a nutshell, allows you to drive at lower speeds while still using the engine's full power. It's useful for towing or driving on hills, helping reduce stress on the brakes. It can even provide better traction on slippery surfaces. The drivetrain is further enhanced with standard active torque vectoring and SI Drive Performance Management System. Intelligent mode is the default, focusing on delivering smooth performance and better fuel economy by optimizing throttle response, torque delivery, and transmission behavior. Sport mode provides a more direct response to driver input and makes the vehicle feel even more lively for spirited driving. When it comes to fuel economy, the Forester is rated between 16 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. During my week of driving, I averaged around 29 miles per gallon. Regular 87 octane is the fuel of choice, helping save some money at the pump. The fuel tank capacity is 16.6 .6 gallons. The interior of the all-new Forester features a prominent multimedia system with integrated center information display and an updated design that doesn't stray too far from its roots. In an ever-increasing digital world we're living in, I've come to really appreciate the simplicity of Subaru's design. 
you can get the tech and creature comforts you want, but it still has an older feel to it, but not necessarily in a bad way. When you climb in, it doesn't take a doctorate degree to figure out how to use everything. It's pretty much spelled out plain as day. The ergonomics are fantastic. Overall build quality is quite nice, albeit a bit utilitarian, but that's also its intended mission. Durability and functionality are key here. Contoured dash elements and textured trim pieces are intelligently designed to avoid visible damage from daily use. A dark headliner also hides scuffs from loading, unloading passengers and cargo. Strategically designed pillars and generous glass area ensure an excellent all-around view from inside the cabin. Rear dark tent privacy glass is standard. The cabin also benefits from an enhanced focus on the passengers and their interaction within the vehicle. The Forester offers ample head and leg room, and a more supportive front seat design increases overall comfort and minimizes fatigue. The front seats also feature slimmed down shoulder areas for better visibility and access to the rear seats. On limited and touring, both front seats offer power adjustments. The driver gets 10-way adjustment with power lumbar. The passenger gets 8-way adjustment. The seats are quite comfy and are leather trimmed on the Limited and Touring. The Limited in particular is offered with black or gray upholstery depending on the exterior color you choose. The gray option is a two-tone style too which is pretty neat. The black upholstery has blue accent stitching for some contrast. With a concentrated effort on sound dampening, the new Forester has a quieter and more comfortable cabin, including approximately 39% of a reduction in rate and noise attenuation from the roof panel. The vehicle's climate control system has been fully updated to focus on occupied seats versus the entire cabin for improved comfort and fuel economy. Dual zone heating and cooling control is standard on the model line. Additional available comfort features include a wireless phone charger in the center console and an all-weather package with heated seats, mirrors, and wipers. The Touring trim now comes equipped with ventilated front seats. Storage space is plentiful. For starters, there's large pockets across the door panels, a covered center console cubby, two cup holders, a tray at the front of the center console, a large glove box, and an overhead console with sunglass storage. For the first time, the Subaru Starlink 11.6 inch Multimedia Plus system is available for the Forester. The high resolution touchscreen is equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto with full screen display. The multimedia system also works as a center information display with combination meter integration and on-screen controls for audio, climate, and vehicle functions. Additional features include Bluetooth hands-free phone and audio streaming connectivity, AM FM stereo, rear vision camera, Sirius XM all access radio and Sirius XM travel link, HD radio, and over-the-air updates. The Starlink Multimedia Navigation System is also available and includes voice-activated navigation, powered by TomTom, Tom, and Sirius XM Travel Link. The navigation system includes What Three Words integration, an innovative location technology that provides a simple way to communicate precise locations just using three simple words. Standard on the base Forester is a dual 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen setup. The top screen would control smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth hands-free phone and audio streaming. The bottom screen would provide control for climate and vehicle settings. With the available safety and security connected services, you get SOS emergency assistance, enhanced roadside assistance, automatic collision notification, maintenance notifications, monthly vehicle health report and diagnostic alerts, stolen vehicle recovery service, and vehicle security alarm notification. Available convenience features include remote lock unlock, remote horn and lights, and remote vehicle locator. New services for the Forester include valet mode, trip log and driving journal, and remote vehicle configuration.
Standard on all Forester models is the latest version of Subaru's EyeSight driver assist technology. The latest version of the system operates more smoothly and quickly and under a greater range of conditions than prior versions. These improvements are thanks to a wider field of view, updated control software, and the addition of an electronic brake booster. EyeSight can identify cyclists and pedestrians at intersections sooner and when necessary alerts the drivers and applies the brakes to avoid collisions. Additional active safety features are available for Forrester including reverse automatic braking as well as blind spot detection with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert. For the first time on a Subaru, Emergency Stop Assist activates if the driver becomes unresponsive to warnings while using Advanced Adaptive Cruise Control. The new standard safety feature will stop the vehicle, activate the hazard lights, and unlock the doors. Subaru Starlink Connected Services will then place a call to Emergency Services. Rear seat reminder is standard and helps prevent child and pet entrapment by alerting the driver to check the rear seat before exiting the vehicle. Automatic emergency steering is included on models equipped with blind spot detection with lane keep assist and rear cross traffic alert. It works with eyesight and blind spot detection to assist with steering control to help avoid a collision within a lane at speeds slower than 50 miles an hour. For enhanced all-around situational awareness while parking, an available surround view monitor offers a 360 degree overhead view of the vehicle and its surroundings. The system combines images from four vehicle cameras to create a single image with a bird's eye view of the area around the entire vehicle rather than just a rearward view as shown by the standard camera. A driver-focused distraction mitigation system is standard on the Touring Trim. It utilizes a camera angled at the driver's face and facial recognition software to monitor fatigue or lag of attention. As far as airbags, all Foresters feature dual front airbags, seat curtain airbags for the front and rear seats, seat mounted front side impact airbags, a front passenger seat cushion airbag, and a driver's knee airbag. The Forester's rear seat offers generous accommodations. It's very roomy and pretty comfortable overall. It offers a high seating position for great outward visibility. The backrest already has a nice rake to it, but on most models, it's also able to adjust so you can lay it back more for extra comfort on long trips. You can seat up to three people, but it'll likely be more comfortable with two adults due to the overall width of the seat. Child seat anchors are included in all three positions. In the middle seat, if it's not in use, you can fold down a padded armrest that includes two cup holders. The outer headrests are full size, the middle one is more compact for better rearward visibility. All three headrests are vertically adjustable. Once seated, I had plenty of head and leg room left over. I'm 5 foot 10 for context. Standard rear seat amenities include overhead LED lighting, grab handles and a coat hook, two sets of front seat back storage pockets and lower door pockets. The front seat back pockets also have little pockets to set your smartphone in. You also have adjustable air vents and USB charge ports in the back of the center console. Heated outboard rear seats is standard on the Touring. As I'll show you all in a moment, the backrest folds down if you need extra cargo space. It can be done remotely from the cargo area on the Limited and Touring or from the rear seat by pulling up on the toggles adjacent to the outer headrests. The new Forester is the first Subaru to offer a new kick sensor activated hands-free power rear gate that enables owners to open and close the rear gate automatically simply by placing their foot under the rear bumper cover. It's especially nice when you have an armful of packages. The Forester is versatile when it comes to cargo space. It features 60-40 split folding rear seat bags. With both seat bags down, the cargo area offers 74.4 cubic feet of usable space. You can easily lower them from the back electrically with the buttons on the side panels on the Limited and Touring. With the seat bags upright, you have 29.6 cubic feet of usable space. The wide rear gate opening with low 28.9 inch lift over height allows easy loading and unloading. 
The cargo area width between the wheelhouses measure 43.3 inches. Max load length at the floor with the rear seat backs up is 36.5 inches. Folded down and it nearly doubles to 70.7 inches. Underneath the cargo floor you have additional storage plus a spot to neatly tuck away the privacy cover when not in use. It's also where you'll find a spare tire and the necessary changing equipment. Standard roof rails add more cargo carrying options for adventures. New standard heavy duty utility hooks in the rear cargo area offer a wider range of solutions for hanging points, lifestyle accessories and more. There's a total of 8 locations, 3 on each side of the cargo space and 2 on the rear gate. LED cargo lighting can be found on the roof and on the underside of the lift gate so you can see easier at night. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too and make sure those notifications are turned on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.